correct. Yes. That's true. All right. Hey, uh, it's never too early to check in on the weather either. Here's American Fork Bow Harbor from uh, Kevin Hale, and uh, he's always keeping an eye on Utah Lake. We've got the snow-capped West Mountain and surrounding mountains around the lake. And, uh, hey, we just really never froze any of our low-lying lakes uh, over that much this year. I know Jordanell got some ice on it, and so did Deer Creek, but... Utah Lake was may, had maybe a little bit of ice for less than a month. So here's a look at snow depths. Uh, Tony Grove, 86 inches is what we typically expect by this time of year. 60 is about the average for uh, March 6th in Trial Lake and uh, about 63 in Cedar Breaks. What do we have this year compared to the normal? Well, 109 on the ground for Tony Grove. That's uh, about two feet surplus and uh, over almost 30 inches for Trial Lake above the normal there. And uh, Cedar Breaks uh, running behind a little bit where we're not too worried about it. It'll just take one or two storms and you're right back up where you should be. All right, low pressure off the California coast. Another one in the southern end of Canada. Between them is this boundary that's been parked out over the last 24 to 48 hours in southern Idaho. It will continue to put some nice snow down out in the Tetons and Jackson Hole Ski Resort. They've been getting pounded with snow. And uh, southern Idaho gets some light rain, snow showers. Maybe a pop-up for central Utah today, but all in all, cloudy skies. That stationary front finally moves into the Wasatch Front as we work into tomorrow. Notice all the pop-up showers, mainly Salt Lake City south, though, as the Idaho border finally gets a break from the activity. So for today, uh, that boundary's still to the north. So we're talking cloudy skies, temps in the 40s and 50s. Green River, you're going to notch a 60 today. 47 in Panguitch, cloudy skies. St. George, hey, more blue skies for today. 37 in Montpelier, you got the snow showers out there. Uh, into Heber City, we're going to stay dry, but don't be surprised if you see a little pop-up. Mostly cloudy, though, for all of us here along the Wasatch Front. St. George, we're going to go 64, chance for showers tomorrow, it's not much, and then rebound for the weekend into early next week. Wasatch Front, 53 to 45, chance for showers tomorrow, then it's out of here, high pressure returns, feels more spring-like as we head into the latter end of this weekend, Amy. I'm liking those forecasts.